I think for a lot of new traders, uh, it's like the same thing, just over trading and having your losses too big and not letting your winners run. So this that one thing alone was able to help help me help me a ton. How are you doing, everybody? Another funded trader of uh, Trader Pool today. Kamal is with me. How's it going, buddy? Good, good. How are you, sir? I'm great. Thanks for uh, coming to this interview. Uh, we're going to talk, of course, like always, about your trading style and how you pass the evaluation. Um, you traded the mini BP, right? The $20,000? Yes, the, the 20000 the 20, Okay, great. So give me like a highlight of the experience. What what you experienced with uh, trade pool on this account uh i think so far uh, one of the great the, one of the be uh, best things that i'm experiencing with this uh, account is uh, basically like the risk management aspect of it right uh for me just going through a lot of my journal it was always uh, me over trading uh, having mm -hmm. so many big losses or one that one single Big loss that just wipes me, wipes me out. It'll right. take away a week or two of my of my gains, and then I'll have to either blow the account and start out over, or just try to get out of a hole, which just always took took forever. Just having those yeah. parameters in in effect was basically like the turning point for for a lot of my trading. I think for a lot of new traders, uh, it's like the same thing: just over trading and having your losses too big and not letting your winners run. So this that one the, thing alone was able to help help me help me a ton. How long you been trading for? Uh, my first official trade was in two two thousand fifteen. So I've been trading for this off and on about uh, eight years. And then back in twenty twenty is when I started taking it seriously. Once I saw how much opportunity that I had missed out from 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 yeah. previous years, I was like, "There's no way I can't. Like, I got to learn this now because it's uh, it's been too long and like." People that have been trading from when I first started, by the time they got to 2020, they were ready for it. And yeah. they made they made a lot of money. And I kind of just sat there and I was trying to learn, but you know, I, I did it the right way. I uh, just kept trading and tracking and doing doing my thing instead of uh, you know hoping I was making money at that time because I knew that I just wasn't prepared for for the opportunity. And do you um more? Uh, moving toward like um, day trading, or your style is more swing trading. Uh, it's a both. Sometimes I'll, I'll day trade, and then depending on where like the area of entry is, I will uh, either hold a little bit for a swing. So usually the way the way I kind of structure my trading is I'll enter based on the risk, and then once it hits my target, I'll send I'll sell a seventy five percent of my target hmm. or my position. And then from there, I'll hold the rest until break even. Sometimes I'll hold it for like another day or two, but uh, usually, yeah. So it's like, but I'd say it's mostly this day trading right now. Because it's been, the ranges have been really good over the past few, with all the action that's going on. Yeah. From even like previously. Yeah. So. And uh, I'm looking at your account. I will share it in a second. Sure. And I see that you mostly trade like big, not, big names like Tesla, Nvidia. This is a change because a lot of our funded traders love to trade, you know, penny stocks. Yeah, I, I started off with penny stocks. And it's, yeah. I don't know. It's, I think for me, I was using the PDT before. Mm -hmm. And because the PDT, I don't know, for, for me, I can't trade the penny stocks. I need to right. have more day trades. But uh, I think uh, like a lot of new traders, they start off with the penny stocks. And then yeah. maybe they'll venture out to other ones. And I think that's been my experience. And I actually like like Tesla's in your videos. And I used to hate them in the beginning. I used to think that they move too slow. And oh, what's you know three dollars on on a four hundred dollars stock? But now they know it. Actually, you can make a decent amount of money just uh, taking a two point yeah. meter of uh, out of like four dollars. You know? And I'll share your screen, your uh, dashboard. And this is also something very interesting because. Like we said, you're trading with twenty thousand uh, dollar buying yeah. power. Still, um, for those of you not familiar, um, you can trade with twenty thousand dollar also day trade because you're basically trading a chunk from our big pool. So it doesn't really matter the the PDT regarding the PDT rule. And 
it would be amazing to see you also trade like on a bigger account. A lot of our traders that pass the evaluation and get funded, you know, trading, let's say the mini BP like you, and then they automatically go, you know, go through evaluation on the ultimate buying power, the $260,000. And mm. then they, you know, they have a massive amount of money to, to play with basically, yeah. especially for those big, uh, big tech like Tesla, Nvidia. Um, yeah, so let's look at your account for a second. So you reached that goal pretty nicely. It took you, what's that, from the beginning of September. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I had I had an account before, and I uh, actually ended up blowing that one. That's what. Approve this one, okay? Yes, this is my second second attempt. Tell me a little bit about it. What uh, what happened on the first one that didn't happen on the second one? Um, uh, I think it was more emotions. Uh, just not actually just not being used to trading so much because remember I said uh, I was under PDT mm. so I think uh, just having like that too much freedom in the beginning it was uh, it kind of caused me to kind of trade wild or just kind of wanting to fast forward the process instead of just taking it slow Got and it. then after actually just blowing a few accounts and I've actually tried with another prop firm as well and I've blown maybe two accounts before that as well Hmm. So it was just the same thing over and over again, over trading and uh, just not uh, respecting the risk. And actually, I think before I wasn't, I wasn't as, uh, I didn't have a kind of a basic strategy. Uh, you know, so I was kind of just like going, going off the hip. You know. Yeah, you know, it, it takes a little bit time until you mm -hmm. get into the rhythm, right? Yeah. Uh, and really find your niche within that uh, within the risk parameters and just understanding the platform and everything so it makes sense um so yeah <coughs> sorry so most of your trades like nvidia tesla buy sell let's talk a little bit about them i mean what are your criterias or parameters that you look in before you just place in a trade uh well before so do you kind of like uh, when i come in in the morning like my i kind of yeah. make my watch list what is your yeah like day-to-day uh, -day routine basically i just have like the same stocks uh, like on, on my screen up top i have uh, nvidia tesla amd and meta and basically just those, i'm just seeing uh, which ones are gapping up the most up and down and which one has news so depending on where where they are which key level they're around I'll trade that, and if they have like news, like earnings or some type of uh, positive news that they might uh, push out, I'll I'll put those two on my on my on my watch list, my main watch list. I have to narrow, narrow down my focus and just put two, and then as I get better, I want to have to keep adding more to my main. But I at but in my main my main two charts, it's just Nvidia and Tesla usually. Yeah, and and that's great because. You know, once you're watching, let's say you're also watching, I guess, the Qs, the QQQ, right? Oh, yeah, the, I, have the, the NASDAQ. I have the yeah, ES, the NASDAQ, and the SPY over here, over, yeah. over here as well. Uh, that's a great technique because, you know, I had times when I played around with like 20 shares, 20 different um, symbols at, at the same time, just watching everything moves. And then when you actually focus in, and this is a great advice uh, that you just gave, Kamel. Um, for those of you, you know, can't find yourself, you know, we have 12,000 symbols, right? So just try to focus on two or three pairs um, or symbols and try to understand them, learn them, uh, see where the key levels, how they react in real time. And then when you learn them, it will be much more easier to to trade them, right? Yeah, you can tell that to people, but uh, until they mess up a few times, I don't think they're gonna understand. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> until yeah, they, they until they go through the mistakes, you learn the hard way. Yeah, uh, that's nice. How, that's that's how it was for me. I had to learn the hard way. It's just that 100%. over and over, just making mistakes and making mistakes and getting angry, making mistakes and fixing everything. Yeah, it, yeah. It always will take a minute until you you do all those mistakes and then yeah. you can continue to trade uh, or become yeah. a, a better yeah. trader every time. You write, yeah, you write down your notes and you like 
your watch list and where you're going to enter and then everything goes out the window when the, <laughs> once you hear the, once you hear the bell yeah true <laughs> so um let's talk a little bit about trade pool um we said overall as you as i guess at least your experience is good how did you find us by the way uh you know pratt uh, trader pratt off of a uh, trader tv live trade okay yeah yeah there's there's a there's a day trading show that i used to that i watch once in a while they all have mm -hmm. like uh, live trading and stuff yeah and uh there, there was a trader on there that i used to trade and he's he shouted out to the five percenters Ah, nice. So I know you guys are I know you guys are connected, so that's why yep. that's why I chose you guys. Because I was with another one, another I don't want to I don't want to say the name, but they okay. were in the news for like some negative stuff. So I was a little worried, and I think uh, and I looked at your guys. I think you guys are like the most for me was the most trustworthy, trustworthy nice. one because you guys have been around for a long time too. Yeah, since uh, 2016. Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty surprised. So that's why. Nice. So let's say I'm a new trader and I'm. You know, I found trade a pool. I want to jump in. What would be your best advice to give someone that just joined the evaluation, right? Just join the evaluation. I'd say uh, start off with the smallest buying power. See if you actually have a strategy. Because uh, for me, in the beginning, a lot of it was just trying to find a strategy and not knowing that I didn't have a strategy. I think uh, some people, they might not know. You know, they might be eager to get into the funding process first. First, just take it slow. Uh, have a strategy. Come in day by day, and just kind of trade your plan. That's that's basically all I did. I just did this same thing every single day. It was either my setup was there or it wasn't. And if it was, I'll take it and set my risk, set my target, and let the stock do whatever it wants to do. Or if it wasn't there, then I'll just kind of skip that day and and just come back the next day and hope for a better setup. And just nice. don't just don't force things. Uh, it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of patience, and just to kind of get profitable. It's some you know some people it might take them four or five years to even have one profitable month. True. Sure. Because it's so yeah. hard to to keep doing this every single day and control your emotions, and that's another thing too. Just to be be aware of like your like your mental your mental state as well. Uh, don't overlook that don't overlook your physical health some of this stuff you know a lot of this stuff uh, it carries on into our personal lives and uh, we, in the beginning sure. we aren't really aware of any of that stuff it's kind of crazy <laughs> when you look back and how much it how much it changes you trading so yeah just uh, just be patient be patient let just use your data and view the data and do not overlook that one thing because some people they'll just keep trading and throwing money at the market and hope and hoping something it works one day out of nowhere you know, yeah. <laughs> i was one of those guys too but it wasn't until i started sitting down and holding myself accountable for my mistakes and i started to see the main difference so. and it's and, and trade the pool it's, it's awesome the even the the broker system the platform is awesome it's kind of like the think or swim almost that's what it kind of reminded me of and it does yeah it does look a, a bit similar and yeah. and the layout and everything and now that we have level two as well and um we added benzinga live streaming to the platform so it's also kind of kind of nice yeah yeah all righty sounds great Kamal. uh thanks so much and of course best of luck hopefully the first check will arrive soon yeah. <laughs> i'm looking forward to it we it's a, honestly honestly it's like a it's it's like a little bit of hope you know what i mean because i've been going at it for so long and you know even like a, a few months ago i was like oh my god like, am i am i gonna be able to you know, do this or get profitable at, at all and so this one little account even though it's a small account it's 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 huge for me it's like a huge step so i really do appreciate it it's amazing to, it's amazing to hear i mean uh yeah, when I started to trade, I know what you mean. You've been going at it for a while, so I can I completely understand. And uh, yeah, if we can, up. yeah, if we can, you know, just help a tiny bit, um, that that's amazing. And and we do see guys that pulling out five thousand ten thousand fifteen thousand a month from the market that's uh that's incredible 
That's crazy. That, that, that'd be, that'd be honestly, that'd be like a blessing. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. So. All right, come on. Thanks so much and good luck. All right, thank Hopefully, you so much, sir. We'll be in touch soon. Perfect. Bye. All right, I appreciate it.